Hello and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Mohammed and today I'm going to be showing you how to disable your internet access and unable your LAN network. Let's have a look at this problem in detail. The aim of this tutorial is to have a computer that's not able to access the internet but is able to access all of the other devices. For example, we have a router that's connected to all of the other computers in the network and all of these computers are connected to each other. All of these computers are also connected to shared devices such as printers and fax machines. Also, we have a local file sharing server, so all of these computers can access files and drives that are shared. And all of these computers can ac also access the internet. We would like one of these computers not to be able to access the internet, and just be able to access the shared devices and the shared files and drives. And this is what the tutorial will teach you how to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and check that our internet connection is working. So we'll try and go to Google and you'll see we'll be able to go to Google. I will also try to ping to one of my computers locally and you'll see that I get a reply from there uh, from this computer. So that means I'm connected to this computer and if we check my IP address it should be the 86. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go ahead and press the start menu and type in ncpa.cpl and when we click this you'll see we'll get the network connection. Now from here you want to use your active network connection so mine is local area network and you might be using the wireless one so I'm using the ethernet cable and click on, right click on your active network connection and click on properties select the internet protocol version 4 so IPv4 and click properties again. Now you see that I'm obtaining the IP address automatically. Here what we need to do is set a static IP address. And if you already have this done, then you don't need to do this next step. But for people who are obtaining the IP address automatically, click on use the following IP address. And then we'll need to assign an IP address. Usually the best thing to do is just to assign the IP address that's already assigned to this computer. So what we want to do is press the start button and type in CMD. And this will open up the command prompt. You might need to run this as an administrator to be able to um, check this uh, IP address. So in here type in IP config and you'll see that depending on which active network connection you're using, I'm using the Ethernet adapter so I'm getting the IP connection here. If you're using the wireless one you might be getting it here underneath here. So as I'm using the Ethernet adapter uh, I my IP address would be this one. So 192.168.1.86 so we're going to put this to the side and go ahead and copy this in uh, 86 and when we click on the subnet mask it should automatically fill in so just leave it to that now what we're going to leave out is the default gateway this is what gives it access to the router to the internet so we're going to leave this empty and we're also going to leave the preferred DNS settings empty and click OK after doing that, click close and you'll see that your network connection should become an unidentified network. Now we only have access to local network, but not the internet. Let's go ahead and test this out. Like before, uh, if I uh, go ahead and open up Chrome and try to access the internet, you'll see that it will no longer be able to go to Google. So that's one of the ways of blocking out the internet. So if you have a local computer which you would like just local network to, this is a, a good way of doing it. So we can't access the internet, but we can access other computers and files on other uh, on our local server. So let's say if we do ping that computer again that we pinged before, 72, you'll see we'll still get a reply from that computer. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.